I'm going to tell you one more story. Please. You having it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's hear. I uh, love stories. Uh, First uh, of all, this is a good, this is a good courting story. Uh, it's, uh, it's, ha it's a happy story. Uh, uh, like you were talking about a court, you know, what the, what the hell are you thinking when you, when you pick that, you know, mm -hmm. out of all this entire music store, that, that's what you're going with, you know, it's, it's kind of bizarre, might as well go with the tuba or, or, or whatever, but, uh, so, I, I, you know, of course, when I started playing, I caught a lot of, sh people gave me a lot of shit, yes. yes, even my, you know, uh, Desiree, you know, my, my girlfriend at the time, she was just like, what is fucking going on with this guy, <laughs> and, I, and I would, when, at the very beginning, and I, you know, uh, especially even all the, I've met, you know, a bunch of skaters, because even like on our tours, I'd bring it everywhere I went, every bar, every fucking place, every demo, it's just like I was You're just, obsessed. it's just gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta figure this out, and it, and it just took a while and whatever. But uh, I brought it over with me, and so I, people, you know, people uh, talked a lot of shit, and it was just that was, even people in my own band are like, ah, fucking good goddamn accordion player, right? And so there's a bunch of accordion jokes, and just, you know, it goes <laughs> on and on like uh, banjo and accordion jokes, right? It's all the oh, same, yeah. it's all it goes in the same same trash can, and just it's all the shit. But uh, uh, we 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 were lucky enough one time to play with uh, open up for uh, uh, the Mescaleros, right? So we opened up for Joe Strummer. And uh, I'll never forget this. Uh, I was on, a, I was out in the curb. As we were playing in Las Vegas at the House of Blues, and I was outside just smoking a cigarette, uh, playing accordion. And Joe Strummer comes out, and I don't know Joe Strummer. I mean, I know who the fuck he is, but I, I, he doesn't go, "What's up, man?" I, 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 he just sat down right next to me, lit a cigarette, and just. And I was already playing, so I just continued to to play. Sure. And and when it was done, we just sat and smoked cigarettes for like 10, 20 minutes, and we just talked about accordion music. And he just was a super fan of. Of the instrument and and uh, and you can hear it in you know a lot of those mescalero records have sure. some boxing and stuff but I just was like it was just we just chatted about accordion music uh, that's the last person <laughs> in the world I ever thought I'd have that that conversation with but we did it was super fucking cool and he was nothing but having all of it and, and you know he's like you know keep it up it's rad and then he, he he's just so cool uh, and and humble and, and just the man but uh, he walked away and I'll just remember I just never that moment I was like fucking hey man Joe Strummer just green lit this for me like I don't even care make all the fucking fun you want to my friend <laughs> I, I just got totally. the I got the get out of jail free card from your man I mean uh, you know so fuck off it was, Chris, it was, Christian is soy yeah, and I mean, Joe I, I, I'm being greenlit. It's a fucking, it's a, it's a solid Dude. operation. It goes a long way from, from uh, you know, when we were, when I, there was a moment when I first started playing, uh, or at, at a bar, some guy rolled out of the bushes. This is no word of a lie. Came out of the bushes in his underpants with a, with a, with a gun, but I didn't know he had a gun because I had my accordion on. I was, I was like too busy playing, and he rolls up and he's all, and he's going like this to me, and I think he's going like that to me, yeah. to my accordion. Shut the fuck up! And he's, you know, he's all drunk out of his fucking mind, and I'm not having any of it. So I'm like, what? And you know, he didn't come. He didn't. He wasn't coming humbly. He was like, shut the fuck. And you got out of control. So I was like, fuck you. And, and I'm, I'm still playing like in spite of you, my friend. I'm gonna continue <laughs> to play music, uh, and because he, he's already in your underpants in the middle of the parking lot. This is a shit show. Yeah. And then he keeps on going like that. And then my friends come out, and and uh, you know, so he probably only emboldens me more. I'm not gonna take this guy's shit, and especially sure. your underpants. I got three of my boys here. What are you going to do to me? And I see them, and then they just scatter. My, my boys just they, they split, and I was like, "What is what? Why is that Run happening?" Away. And he's and he just was like, and, and he at one moment he just you know he's just like fuck it, and he just turned around and he walked. Uh, he'd had enough and he wasn't gonna have it. And then I, that's when I saw he had like a nine millimeter gun in his hand. The whole time he's going like this, he's poking me with the goddamn gun, and I'm I'm like an idiot going, "Fuck you, Mister!" Like, <laughs> and he didn't. He, that would have been a hell of a way to go. That would have been a, a hell of a way to get shot through the accordion and get killed. But I went from there to Joe Strummer fucking high five me so uh, it worked out all right yeah I'd say it worked out all right that's so rad though because it's such a rare instrument to play especially in a band it's it's uh, very specific you know and, and it just goes back to your individuality like your style like the way you chose this instrument it just shows you're like well uh, we're all going down this path playing this thing or doing this thing and I'm gonna go this way and that's just you know part of who you are and um, <clears throat> your appeal too but you used to have a specific style it was like the cargo shorts, cut off kind of thing, yeah. the chain wallet. And that was like everyone in the shaved head, everyone. Yeah, that that kind of kept caught on there just for a, for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It became, it became um, the, the template for street skate, the look of street skating at, at that time. But it's one less thing to think about, especially as a skater. You're just like, I just want to go skate. It's like, how many days you go without showering? You're like, endless. You put on your shorts, you put on your pants, whatever it is, and you go. Yeah. And it wasn't, you know, you're not, you weren't it's, like it's, sitting in the mirror primping. Yeah, fuck no. As in those <laughs> days, too, you were just all like, skateboarding all day, every day, 
every moment. Uh, so it was like eight hours. I just need to not be naked. And, yeah, and I'm gonna do this all day. So just I'll put these on. I don't care really. <laughs> okay. So anyway, you had the, this whole trend happening. Did it trip you out? Like you're like, what? Why is why is everyone wearing the same sure, shit? Sure, sure. That was trippy. And then, and then I'm sure H Street etc. wanted to make make gear based after what you were. Wearing right, like oh, cargo shorts or military shorts or inlets. Maybe would think so. I don't think right? we ever did made a no. H Street chain wallet. I just think the only thing that could be they, they just you know lost yeah. revenue. They, they they didn't do it. Now in <laughs> retrospect, I could have moved some units. Several different people now have you know recently come to me and look at the chain wallet, and that's all good. Totally. Uh, uh, but yeah, we never did that in the time, and we never H Street never made cargo shorts, but yeah. Rocco did. Yep, and he sent me a pair immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, probably like a, a getaway, right? A bo- I mean, yeah, uh, a box like you know the size of your house. <laughs> you you kind of exited skating at a pretty high point. You were doing whatever, doing well within skateboarding, was, whatever, whatever all that means, right? Sure. And, and you just sort of seemingly kind of disappeared. I did. I just sort of vanished. That kind of keeps the twenty years and eight, eight months out of the year, nine months out of the year. You know, it keeps it in perspective. And sure. It's not the easiest thing to do, and there was moments where you know, I, I the, you know, being that being away from my own family for so long, you know, got me to a point where I was you know, fully depressed, 